Welcome to another episode of the Oxygen Not Included Beginner's Guide series. And as you can see down here, we have the strip mining that we started in the previous episode. And I believe we discovered we're having a little bit of a problem with uh, oxygen. As you can see, there's just a little bit up in here and then all of this is not oxygen, which is not ideal. It's going to be disrupting how our duplicates are working and everything, so we're going to want to get that sorted. One thing I'm going to be adding uh, for now is a carbon skimmer. So it uses water to filter carbon dioxide from the air. So they can remove large amounts of carbon dioxide, but produce no breathable air. Uh, it takes it create it takes normal water and pl creates polluted water. Uh, it produces a bit of heat, and it has quite the uh, negative to decor. So. Uh, this is something you're going to want to hook into your water system. It can work really well with this system, so that's probably what we shall be doing. I'm thinking of putting it here. Um, I'm leaving this layer because I want to start a farm of mushrooms and they need to be in carbon dioxide. So I don't think I want to have the skimmer down here because we want to keep some of that here and we don't have anyone working really on this level so i want to get rid of it everywhere above this line so i'm going to put it here for now we can look at the liquid pipe situation we have so we'll need clean water going in someday i'll remember how this works and then we have dirty water exiting so let's just connect up into this pipe so that'll just join up the system and it will be filtered here and the clean but germy water will enter right there and then as you can expect it takes power Ooh. I do want to redo our power at some point because this is becoming quite a mess and this is way being overdrawn or has the potential. I think I saw over here that we had a damaged wire, which is not ideal. It's consuming materials to repair it. Uh, for now though, I think what I'm going to do is create another one of this right here down in this area and then bring the power spine down through this room, which will be, well, no, there's chlorine all over here. So that won't be too bad. Uh, the problem with the uh, heavy watt wire is it can't go through walls like normal. So what we're going to need to do is use a joint plate here on in the floor. Uh, not R. I'm so used to R for rotate. So we're going to put that here and then here. Can we deconstruct this guy? I think you need a special ability to be able to do that. Hello? Bubbles, please go eat. <laughs> Please don't starve. Okay, so I've got most of the stuff built up at the moment for the <laughs> spaghetti that we're making here. Um, I'm using the new tool that we have from the newest update called Disconnect, which means I can sever connections of wires. So I used it here. I'm trying to separate this line onto its own. So all of this is on its own. And then I'm grabbing this stuff and the stuff outside the base to have on this new line here. So I think I want to disconnect here. And then I'll be able to uh, deconstruct like all of this right here. Okay, so this guy is going to go like this around the corner and handle all of what I showed you, all of this area in the kitchen. This one now runs this section, stuff outside the base, and then we'll run these um, at most suit docks. And then uh, this guy is only running up in this area and is no longer jumping over. So you can see I've disconnected in a couple places and I'm deleting. That's something that's hard to remember in this game that is that stuff you do early on, almost guaranteed to get changed later on in the game. <laughs> I do need people to make sure to get this done quickly though, because <laughs> I think this, no, this line still has power. Not entirely. Oh, I know where it's getting its power. It's from this, this block. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is not connected to the main spine. I don't understand how it's getting power. No, it is. 
But we do want to get it connected to the main spine since the oxygen doesn't exactly produce a ton. So you can, as you can see now, we've taken off quite a bit. It's still potential run um, too high, but I think the chances are much lower now. Which is what we were aiming for here. And I think I'm going to pull the power down from this upper area to power this guy. For now. Until we fix all of this. <laughs> Our uh, strip mining is doing well over here. As you can see, they're making some pretty good progress. Something you can't do with uh, a project like this, if you don't need it immediately, is lower it down to like a four so that they are prioritizing, you know, bigger projects before this guy. All right, we got this guy going as well. Uh, we can also add some automation onto this, but let's first see how it's working. So if we go into plumbing here, you can see that it is sending out the polluted liquid here, and then it's going to be joining in here where it will get cleaned and it is taking out of this uh, line here. So automation, we have a couple choices. We could do something like a switch so that I could just turn it on and off as I see fit. We could do an Atmos sensor so that if we detected a certain pressure, we could trigger it. We could use an element sensor so we could have it running as long as our sensor detected carbon dioxide. So if we had it like up in this upper area, so if it filled up all the way to here, uh, then we could trigger it to run constantly until this was no longer carbon dioxide. I think what I'm going to do will be cycle center. You could also do a timer one, but I just like doing this one a bit better. The timer one takes a little more like finessing to get right. Whereas this one, it's easier for me to line up like, okay, I know that this time of day doesn't have a whole lot going on. I'd like it to go for this time period. The reason I don't want this constantly running is because it is producing heat. If we look here, we can see it's not exactly the coolest thing. So I don't want it constantly running if I don't have to. So looking at our oxygen, I do still think we need another copy of this. Um, I considered potentially that we just had too much carbon dioxide in the system. Uh, and so there was no space for the oxygen, but I don't think that's what's happening here. I do think it is the uh, Atmos suits. So I think I need another one of those. Uh, a recent update made it so that because our duplicate made a copy here, we can actually choose to repaint it. So let's go with this one here and repaint. Uh, that way we don't have a bunch of duplicates. If you're someone who enjoys using mods, I do believe there's a mod for making blueprints. So what you could do in this situation is just directly copy this and make a blueprint and then just place it down underneath it. Uh, I try not to use mods basically because of this uh, theories. Ow. Just hit my knee on the desk. <laughs> um, so I will be doing it manually, but it is something you can consider if you are into mods looking into the blueprint one. Oh no. <laughs> uh, let's disable that. <laughs> I did not need all this fresh water in here. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. <laughs> okay, our timer is uh, built now. And actually, as you can see from here, let's go ahead and filter by gases just so it's easier to see. This has made some pretty quick work of the carbon dioxide that was in this little nook. So I will be not running it as long as I could if it was there was still a lot in the area. Let's go with maybe five for now. I might just put it about halfway through the day because I know I have a lot of stuff kind of anchored around the start of the end, the end of the night. So that should be fine. So this guy should be clicking off soon, as we can see there. Another reason you wouldn't want this running all the time is because not only is it drawing it power itself, it is causing this to be running a whole lot more than before. Made a mess. Dang it. Are you stuck? 
Is it because of this? I think it's this two gap here. Hey, hurry! Let's go ahead and go on yellow alert and try to get this gap fixed. So that Gabe can get out. Run, Gabe, run! That means we are going to have a mess here as soon as he docks his suit. As you can see. I'm going to have this mopped. I have a place where it's dumped up in this area. Still in the background I'm working on building the copy of this guy and what I'm doing is as I do a couple parts I then will check the uh, plumbing to make sure I'm getting the same stuff. I am doing this one slightly different because up here we're worried about the heat so I have one a couple radiant pipes before it goes in and then it'll continue the same uh, into this area to uh, cool it and then move on. I then check the ventilation. We've got these pipes. I've changed the shape just because this guy had to move down a little bit in this build. And then we also need to check the automation. We've got that here and here. Uh, let's go ahead and copy settings to this guy. And then we need to check the power. So we've got a power connection here and there, and I'm doing that. And the reason I need to be so careful about this is because the system is very hard for dupes to get into once we've built further in. So right now, next, we'll be putting in these wall pieces, which will then make it so our duplicates can't walk around in here. The other thing we need to do, which I almost forgot, is sweep the stuff out of here. Granted, that's only because I actually care what's in there. Uh, you could just as well build all of that into your machine. <laughs> If you don't care about how it looks. I, for one, don't like random bits of material everywhere. Mm. I think I actually might change the automation on this. I kind of assumed that if it didn't detect any carbon dioxide that it wouldn't run, but I am testing that currently. I moved this to the active hour because I was curious. Uh, and it is still running, even though, as you can see, this is all very much oxygen. It's still going through and doing the polluted water. Um, I think it's just because it's still running the system, even if there's nothing there. So I think I will actually be switching it to if it detects carbon dioxide. Now the question is, where do we want it to, like, when do we want to trigger it? I might just for wiring... Put it in the same spot as up here. Nesbit. <laughs> I'm gonna need you not to get yourself stuck here today. Which she has already done. Okay. Let's go ahead and cancel that tile. And we need to build her a ladder. What do we have here? Granite. So grab a ladder. Have it out of granite. Please get out, Nesbit. So you, as you can see there, that was why I went ahead and did the granite, was because she could oh my God, still reach it, uh, the material, to build herself out. No one said duplicates were the smartest of creatures. Buried object discovered. Okay, hold on. Cancel, cancel, cancel. We found ourselves a problem. I can't believe I forgot that vent was there. Cool. Cool. Okay. Going to want to close off this steam vent. It's idle, but we don't know for how long. So we want to get this uh, insulated. We can help it. Steam power or steam uh, vents are very useful. Um, but. I didn't split on them. <laughs> 900 degrees Fahrenheit. A little toasty. <laughs> Luckily our duplicates should be okay because they'll always be in their Atmos suits, but the problem with letting in a very hot gas into the general area around your base is you can get something along the lines of that liquid or gas could be so hot that your water locks can evaporate, it can get into your base. like. It's something you have to be very aware of is how hot these geysers and vents are and the consequences of them interacting with the environment around them. <laughs> so that's why we want to get this guy vented off is or uh, like blocked off with the insulated walls is because we don't want it 
erupting into the base and uh also because then I can't forget it's there. <laughs> Raising pressure. So we have two options here. Uh, I'm going to try to save it. We may end up breaking these things. Um, but if that goes bad, there's no shame in reloading saves. <laughs> this game can be very harsh. <laughs> so this was my solution. Uh, block this off so if it erupts the only thing we kind of lose is this. Currently it is overpressured which is good. Uh, we want to see... I don't know how long it will be going because we haven't analyzed it. Okay. So I have decided to... Uh, uh, go back in my saves. Uh, I'm a little unsure where I am in this save. This is an auto save. Um, you guys should be good or... Okay, good. So we've got this guy going. That means we've got the power system going correct. Let's go ahead and get a cancel on this and deconstruct these guys. Um... I'm going to need to replan that now that we remember that that vent is there. <laughs> Cannot believe I forgot about that. So as you can see we can't build here so that helps us know that that's where the top of this vent is. So we'll actually want to go up like so. But one of the reasons I ended up canceling or no. <laughs> one of the reasons I ended up deciding to reload a save instead of trying to go from where I was was realizing that Let's put this back so you can see. This adds into like difficult spaces for our duplicates to move in and I was going to try to be building into this area and it just wasn't going to work very well. So instead I'm going to try to put this over here so they're side by side and that will help us avoid this and I just didn't want to redo all of that. Um, work and everything so that's why I decided that this time I would uh, reload. Though I guess we do have one thing, one benefit to going back here. Let's go ahead and get this guy a high priority. We now know Gabe's about to be stuck so we can save him from that. <laughs> I think I'm going to up building the ladders and having the digging at four so that they stop doing that to themselves. Nesbit. Why? <laughs> Can you prioritize this? Let's build this out of sedimentary rock. Oops. Because I see she has some right there. Be free, Nesbit. So I just printed a snazzy suit. And I've decided to assign it to Bubbles. I'm looking at the decor overlay and if you hover you can see that Bubbles has a minus 20 decor because she's a shabby dresser. So we're going to try to counteract that a little bit with the snazzy outfit. <laughs> so here is the progress report of the <laughs> uh, 2.0 of what I'm doing here. Um, so I've decided to rearrange it just a touch instead of just completely copying what I had here and then moving on over here I've decided to join where the hydrogen generators are and where the batteries are. Uh, it makes it so that it's easier to move the water through the system and uh, several things like that uh, but it does lead to some difficult things like the water has to take a different route on this side opposed to this side so it takes a bit of uh, thinking for sure. And then I used to have a water lock here but I don't really have anything to be keeping out at the moment. This is all oxygen. At the time there was a bunch of stuff so I have removed the water lock for now. I'm going to leave access into this from below and I might put a water lock there. I've locked the door here and I'll probably do the same once this is built so that they're not disrupting this portion because there should be no reason for them to need to get into this once it's built. So that's why I'm going to have the locked doors but they can come in here and repair anything they need to. I don't foresee them needing to do that but 
here we are rebuilding it anyway, so you never know in this game. Okay, a very long time later. This is what we have. Ooh, actually. Go ahead and get this guy built as well, just so it looks the same. So I'm going to go through all of these huts to make sure I have everything the same. So we've got the power situation and then let's look at plumbing. So it'll branch off here. We have the same radiant thing. I miscalculated here. These probably should be radiant or could be radiant. Let's check the ventilation. So we have the hydrogen will come through here and into this and then we have the oxygen. Oh, I see another problem we need. This is why we double check one of those. <laughs> Then we'll have our oxygen joining up here. I am curious to see how this will work because we have... Will this continue to go to this direction or will it only exit and then these will be supplied by only this one? We'll have to see. The way the direction on this stuff works is a little odd sometimes. Um, then let's check... Our automation. These guys are automated that and I've copied the settings for each. So once that ventilation gas pipe is built, perfect. So now all we need to do is connect it to the power and it should work perfectly after that. We'll see if that's the case. Okay so it should be running as before we are going to uh, get some damage here. Oops. All right, now it should work that we've got the power hooked up. So we can see here it's running. It's going to take some damage for a little bit until this gets to be the proper pure hydrogen. This will be just the oxygen. The temperature on this side is going to be warmer than over here just because it's the way it routes. It goes through like this area as well. So it's not going to be as cool, but that should be all right. So that is us expanding this guy. So we could now have um, eight more duplicates if we wanted. Uh, like I said, each one of these can support eight. And then we also got our carbon skimmer going. So now we have uh, more oxygen on this level as well, which is very good. I'm going to uh, set up the water lock here just to help with like temperature and any other things that might enter in this area. I don't know what we'll do with this right here, but you know, something might come up in the future, something might not. One thing that's interesting about these kind of things, like these setups, is when you're watching like a guide like this, something that's I think easy to miss is just how long these things take. So uh, I have been working on this two hours, mostly because of the restart, so it's like an hour. But it's easy to feel like you're not doing it right when you're watching a guide and like all of a sudden they have this thing really quickly. But there is a lot of downtime where I'm looking around the base and doing other things and then I edit that out. So don't be surprised if these kind of things take a long time. But we have done it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.